Hi, Bogo. Welcome to our weekly love podcast. Okay, let's start with the 20th. Hmm. Could be moving forward in your career, but this is definitely forward moment success, okay? Either in your uh, relationship or this could just be you who's okay on your own moving forward successfully individually, doing very, very well in your work, and you could be in the public eye right now. But that's a lot of success and forward moment here, okay? A lot of self-confidence. People are watching you, looking at you. Or you could be wanting to give a uh, recognition or taking things to a high level of commitment with your relationship. If not, you're just doing very successfully at work. You could be getting a lot of praises from other people. For the 21st, we have the Nine of Swords here. So yeah, you could be very stressed, very overwhelmed. The Nine of Swords is living in your head. Okay, this is also over-exaggerating, overthinking, and over-analyzing the situation. So yeah, there is something that you're thinking about over and over and over again. Your problem may not be as big as you make it in your head. Okay, so yeah, you're probably making mountains out of small hills here. Could be a little bit of remorse and regret also. That has to do with a lot of stress, fear and anxiety. For the 22nd, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, there is a situation here in your relationship where you're probably going to feel like you want to wait, pause, you know, before you put in any more effort again. Okay. This relationship has been very long coming, okay? It's been like a long, uh, tiring road for you. You put in enough work and now you're like, you know what? My work is done. Now I'm not going to put in any more work. For you, it's like the opposite person is not supposed to invest into this relationship because you've come to a stop, okay? You're haunting and you're more like, you know what? I've done my work and I want to see what am I getting the fruits of my labor. You're waiting to see if there is something you're waiting for something to come into fruition okay but yeah that's you still being invested into the relationship but still contemplating and re-evaluating of what you want to do next so 20, 20, 23 nice the world here looks like you're completing a cycle successfully okay this is you reaching a milestone in the relationship wanting to take things forward again six of wands the world here uh, so yeah, so I see there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stress here, you know, about taking things to the next level. So there is this there is this sense of wholeness here. Okay, so if you are in a relationship, you probably reached a goal. Okay, that you guys wanted to, you know, probably you want to now get married, or you want to move it to the next step and have children, you know, or just you're just being very happy where you're okay, very secure, very loved, and in a very committed place in your relationship here. So that's a very good sign for you give the world here. You've successfully completed the cycle, like I said. But uh, you could be living at a distance from this person. This could be a long distance relationship. 24th. On the 24th, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse here. So there is someone here who's not emotionally unavailable. But this is someone who's not wanting to be open, okay? Not wanting to be vulnerable. Someone who's very closed off emotionally. Could be someone who's emotionally manipulative also at the same time. But this is definitely someone who's um, either this person has revoked their love offer, okay, or this could just be a lot of disappointment because of an end of the relationship. It could be a broken engagement also, you know. But uh, this is uh, definitely someone, you know, who turns from happy, you know, happily committed to suddenly commitment for, all right. But yeah, this could be someone, you know, who's a heartbreaker for sure. So you need to be careful about that. But this to me definitely looks like... Um, Someone who's um, uh, there's a lot of disappointment basically, okay, around your situation here for the twenty fourth year. Something is not probably going to work out your way, but um, for the twenty fifth we have the King of Pentacles here. So yeah, it looks like you're going to be very focused on your career, your work, your goals here. Um, yeah, you are stressing about it in the uh, initial time of the week in the first uh two days of the week but i think you'll get over it and with the king of pentacles here i think you're going to be very very focused on yourself this is what your goal is the king of pentacles this is either what you want or this is what you are okay For wanting to focus on the stability security something long term okay wanting long term commitment and on the 26th it looks like there is a lot of communication that's because it's going to be going back and forth by the end of the week here okay for the 26th here 
things look really really good probably there is someone here who you've ended things with okay um someone this could this could be someone who's even wanting to avoid a confrontation they know they need to talk about it but they just don't want to create a mess okay so they're trying to keep themselves away from this confrontation but it's needed but i, I see you with the king of pentacles and eight of wands here there is a lot of communication coming in by the end of the week for you okay let's see the topic of the week is the four of pentacles in reverse here so yeah it looks like there's someone here who's let go of something that they're holding on to uh very tight you know could be a very possessive lover or a very clingy lover but this could also be someone who's just you know very closed off who's not who's wanting to keep to themselves you know and they don't want to be at a risk of opening up and be vulnerable let's start um okay why the six of wands i'm getting more work related than love related here for you Virgo. why the six of wands yeah looks like you're cutting someone off okay and you're moving forward that's what i'm getting you're being very cold detached could be cutting off an an air sign or an air sign's cutting you off okay but yeah you're definitely very cold detached and you're you're dealing with probably an individual here who's being very irrational very illogical this person thinks they're being very logical okay but they're just being very cold someone who's uh, not being able to operate from their based on based on facts logic etc but someone who's trying to you know literally be very very manipulative here but yeah that's what's happening uh why the six why the nine of swords here for the 21st why the nine of swords here but yeah you're definitely cutting out someone and moving forward why the nine of swords here and there could be a lack of communication between you guys yeah see you're you're probably wanting to stop stressing or stressing too much about a breakup and probably the three of swords in reverse here the breakup the stress is making even more worse okay instead of coming over or coming out of a breakup instead of healing from a connection i think things are getting worse here okay so yeah I feel that you're stressing too much about a heartbreak, a separation, a breakup that already happened in the past here, probably with this air sign who was manipulative, okay? And now you're wanting to move forward, but still this person is on your mind a lot, a lot, okay? And you're probably doing a lot of negative self-talk also, so be careful about that. The most important words that you say are the ones that you say to yourself, so. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Looks like you're waiting and watching, not wanting to put in any effort and work into this relationship. But you're at the end of the cycle here. I mean, you literally have it on your mind to get better, okay? You definitely want to get better. But you're in panic mode. Tell me why the Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, yeah. You're contemplating on whether you want a brand new beginning or no with this person, okay? So that's happening on the 22nd. Probably after this stress, you know, you probably are wanting to get better, heal, all right? You probably want to move on, recover, you know, whatever. But I feel like you don't want to move on from this person, but still at the same time, you don't want to put in the work. You want to wait for this person and wait. You're literally contemplating on whether you want a new beginning in love with this person, or you could even be contemplating on self-love. You could be contemplating on whether you want to choose yourself, love yourself first and I mean, actually, that's what's happening. You're choosing to love yourself first and you're no more wanting to invest into a situation that's come to a halt right now, okay? But you're waiting very patiently. There is slow progress here. It could be stagnant growth. But yeah, you're waiting to see if you want to still connect to this person and renew this relationship or whether you just want to focus on yourself and want something new. What's the world? So on the 23rd, you'll be experiencing the world. What's the world? Why will work up experiencing on the world, the world, on the page of pentacles in the verse. So it looks like you're letting go of someone, okay, with the world here, but uh, there's something that you want to move forward to, but there's probably a, ra a lack of effort in this, okay? You're not being that diligent um, lover. You're not being able to give this person something stable, or you probably want this, but the person you're dealing with is just very immature, okay? 
It's just very immature. See, now this is what I'm getting here. We have the King of Swords in reverse and the Page of Pentacles in reverse here. There is definitely an energetic difference here, okay? One person is all about the truth, all about, you know, like conversations, communications, you know? And you probably become pissed off because you've probably given this person a lot of chances here and now it's like time for you where it's just like you've just lose, lost the plot. You're dealing with someone who's a little immature, but at the same time, when it comes to offering you something stable, that's when they kind of procrastinate, okay? Like they know what they want, you know, and uh, the situation is pretty much well set in their head, but they probably want everything to be in place before they make the next move, which is procrastination because of which there could be a missed opportunity, okay? It is on your mind here, but the person that you're dealing with is someone who's keeping you on hold here. They're not putting in the work. They probably want you to put in the work, and that's something that you're fed up of and something that you're not wanting. Tell me why the Knight of Cups in reverse? Why the Knight of Cups in reverse? Moon in reverse here. You're definitely releasing, probably on the 24th, you're definitely releasing a player, okay? I feel that you're holding on to someone, okay? See, that's why the theme is the Four of Pentacles here. I feel there's a lot of stress, fear, anxiety around a situation, around this person who you deem to be once very, very stable. You're in love with this person, okay? You're expecting a romantic proposal, an apology, you know? You probably want commitment from this person. But finally, on the 24th, you probably realize that things are just not happening your way. And with the world, you're closing a cycle here. And uh, you're wanting to let this person go. And you're finally letting this person go, okay? This person is no more in that fear zone. You no longer are living in fear. You don't have the fear of the unknown. Probably for a very long time, you kept this person very close because you didn't know what would happen, okay? Or what was the experience like if this person left you? Very insecure, okay? And someone who was very dependent on this person. But on the 24th, looks like you're definitely letting this person go because they're very in and out, hot and cold in your life. And uh, you want something stable or you want something emotional which this person is just not being able to inform you, uh, provide you with it. And of course, they come off to be as very emotionally manipulative, okay? Someone who's offering you straps or, you know, they're just offering you leftovers and that's something that is really not tolerated by you. And nor are they putting in the work. So for you, it's like it's better I end the cycle and move on. See here on 2050, you're very focused in your career and your goals. Tell me why the King of Pentacles? Why the King of Pentacles? Why the King of Pentacles? Ten of Swords in reverse here. Wow, that's beautiful. So, yeah, on the 25th, it looks like you're very focused on your work, your career, your goals. There could have been a relationship which has touched rock bottom, okay? You could have felt very backstabbed and betrayed uh, by this person here. You could have felt like a victim, all right? But yeah, there could have been the last nail in the coffin that was already done. A lot of drama, a lot of uh, a, a probably a very dramatic, a very painful ending, like I said, right? But what I feel is you are trying to get over it, okay? You're finally on the 25th. You're trying to be very, very stable, secure, like I said. And you're trying to rise above your problems, okay? Rise above the haters. The worst is over, according to you. And that's what you know that the worst is over, okay? You've survived it. And uh, you're probably uh, wanting to make things better now, okay? But I feel you're not wanting to revive this relationship. This is you who's trying to, you know, like pull yourself together and you're wanting to focus on yourself, okay? If this person is not ready to give you that commitment or give you that stability or long-term longevity, for you, it's like, you know what, that's fine. It's over, I'm releasing you and I'm wanting to move forward here, okay? Which is amazing. But it doesn't look like this person wants to leave you alone. Tell me why the Eight of Wands... Like you're literally getting over the pain out here, you know, because you're constantly dealing with a player, not even a player. This is someone who has player-like tendencies or someone just who has a tendency of, you know, wanting to play around with you, you know, like they play with your emotions, you know, in and out, etc. You know, they, they know what you want, but they're very good at manipulating, etc. Tell me why the Eight of Wands? Page of Wands in reverse here. See, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I think that this is, you're just wanting to move forward. Like for you on the 26th, it's like, I just want to get out of this shit. I want to get out of the, the mess and you're in a hurry to just leave, you know, with eight of wands here. You don't want to wait anymore. You want fast progress and you want to quickly get out of the situation before the situation gets very painful because anyways, you've already experienced something very painful here, okay? So yeah, that's what you want to do. Before any of your fears come true again, you know, or any kind of ruin happens, 
you don't want a relapse you don't want a problem coming back but instead of making things better you are in the mode this week of right now like fuck it i am not going to make this happen i'm not wanting to put in, put any more effort into this i'm going to love myself first i want to get over see what i like about you Virgo, is that in the entire reading here you don't want to put in any effort to make this happen because you're constantly like i said right energetic difference the immature person that you're dealing with right you're fed up of them you're fed up of them okay you could probably be in no communication with this person but on your mind is like you know what i'm strong i can do this okay and you're slowly trying to get your shit together and you're crossing every roadblock that is coming in front of you you have that willingness and determination to get out of this relationship and i feel you're moving on and moving forward okay moving past this person so yeah, but with the Eight of Wands in reverse and Page of Wands here, Eight of Wands and Page of Wands in reverse here, I feel that you want to move forward from a person who, uh, or from a situation where you just don't, you lack the spark, okay? You're probably dealing with a shit talker here, or this is just someone, you know, who says things what they want and then they don't know what to do about it. But yeah, you're definitely wanting to move away from a relationship or a connection or a person which lacks the spark, okay? You're losing the vigor in this relationship and all you want to do is rise above it and you just want forward moment you're not waiting for this person to come back anyways this week's looks a little bit of you this week's focus looks uh completely about you uh i don't think there is much communication coming in from the person that you're dealing with because this is all about you right this week maybe this person probably will try and communicate with you probably say in the middle of the week here but again it's going to lack that stability okay it's going to lack that um uh, adding some sense to the relationship or wanting to talk something sense or wanting to make something happen that's still missing here and that's why probably by 24th year you're like you know what it, it's not happening i'm just going to let it go i'm not, not going to live in fear anymore tell me why the four of pentacles in reverse why is this the theme of the week why the four of pentacles in reverse here? yeah see five of wands in reverse here you're releasing drama this person gets a lot of drama along with them okay you're releasing the drama you're releasing the chaos you are not on the same page with this person and uh, every time you guys get together there's either ego clashes clashing personalities or then you know you guys are just constantly bickering you know like small arguments are escalating into something very very big okay which is very unnecessary and for you it's like i don't have time for this you know you're like i don't got no time for this shit you know i better focus on myself what you're doing on the 25th year i don't need anyone to heal i am going to heal myself and your healing is probably you know where you got um you, you're being you're playing the role of someone very balanced you could be the bread owner of the family but yeah for you you all it doesn't look like it's only love that is your focus but for you it's like okay if this person is already to offer me something stable that's fine i still got some some other things to do you know and your aim is like moving forward you know you want structure you want routine in your life okay and uh, if there's someone here who you're trying to explain this to for a very long time and they don't get it well then for you it's like well if they don't they get it then they don't get it you know it is a missed opportunity you know and you're just gonna let them go but yeah you're releasing this drama which you could have held on to maybe you were fighting for this person okay for a very long time you know maybe this person put you in a spot where you didn't know where you were standing in their life or there could just be too many people involved in your uh, relationship okay but you're definitely letting it go you're detaching from this person and that's the theme of the week here okay so that's what i have for you virgo i hope this reading resonates with you uh like share subscribe and i will see you next time Bye bye